Okay, so we made some good progress today. Uh, we completed all the forms with the exceptions of the <coughs> stem pieces, which will go on uh, here, uh, lastly. And uh, that, that's going to take uh, very little time. However, uh, I'm, at, I'm at the end of the day today uh, on, the, on the build. But if you can see behind me, the canoe's starting to take shape. So all the forms, stations one through nine, are installed, with the exception of the, both the bow and the stern stem forms, which is the piece I just showed you. So I'm going to walk you through. You can see I have a center mark here on the strong back, and that follows the whole length of the strong back. That will align the number one station and the number nine station. However, all the other forms. Although that center line carries on all these stations, in all actuality, this string line is what is aligning all of these station forms, these canoe molds. And that's important. Uh, now that we've established all of the forms, I can now remove this line. And it looks good looks good so I'll be removing that line and when I actually get back when I get back into uh, working on this at a, at a later time then I'm going to install the stem forms and uh, sand up some of the forms uh, so they're smooth and and then we'll get into uh, the preparations of the cedar strips the quarter inch strips that that need to be uh, <clears throat> prepared on a bead and cove uh, on each side. So a bead, when I said it in the earlier video, the, the bead is a, is a rounded edge, and then on the other side of that same strip is a cove. So that beaded strip, that beaded shape will fit into the cove, and that carries through the entire hull. Uh, and each strip is glued to the next, and then stapled to these forms. So, uh, before I get to that, uh, I have to build a router table. <laughs> I don't have one, so what I've been doing is researching uh, router tables, and, and I have some parts to do that. I ordered a, uh, a router plate. have routers. I, I just, uh, my uh, router table got damaged a long time ago. So, i got to build a router table in order to uh, process all the strips that I've already ripped down on my table saw. And I also have some stored up above. And so a lot of work there. I was going to integrate the uh, router table into my extension fence or extension table on my table saw. But I've kind of locked myself into the table saw being unusable uh, due to the space limitations here. This is, this is quite... Uh, an enormity here in my basement workshop so what I'm going to do is build a uh, router table that's practical for the space uh, and then and then process those strips so that's just about it uh, this is part two of the canoe build and uh, gonna get into those strips